We're here with our friend, we're gonna call you Pinto. Man, that is a sore looking foot you got there, my friend. You okay if we video you uh, for our friends on YouTube? Sure. Tell me what happened to you. Uh, on Friday, uh, by early afternoon, 2.30, I started to feel a pain in my foot. Mm -hmm. uh, by five o'clock, 5.30, I was barely able to get from my car into my couch. Did you home. kick something? Did you did step on something? Did you, you know, stub your foot or, or no. no injury like that? So no it, it injury. Just, so as far as we know, this could have been a spider bite or anything. We just don't know. It could have been anything. And by at that morning, Friday morning, yeah. you wouldn't even you wouldn't even known anything was wrong. Okay. And that was a Friday. So today's Friday, so that was a week ago, right? A week ago. All right. Yes. Then what happened? Uh it started to swell. Yeah. Um when I got home, um, I sat on the couch and elevated my foot. I mm -hmm. started to get chills. Uh huh. Uh, the next day, uh, I went to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. They looked at it and determined that it was not gout; it was a infection. Right, definitely an infection. Okay. And they gave me some antibiotics, two different types of antibiotics, okay, and good. a painkiller. Mm -hmm. And I would I've been on those since uh, Saturday at about two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Have you finished all of those? I'm going to finish those on Saturday at 1 o'clock. All right. I'm going to stop for a second and put some gloves on. I'm back. I got my gloves on here. So it looks like it would be really painful, so I'm going to just grab on there. Does that hurt for me to squeeze there a little bit? No. And you've not had any drainage from this? No. Okay. It does feel warm, though. I can tell you that. But over here, it's a little sore? Yes. Yeah. So you have a cellulitis, okay? And what that is is an infection under the skin. Um, I'm sure they treated you correctly. I'm sure they gave you the right medicines. The problem is, is, is this is just not well yet, okay? And you're going to run out of prescription uh, antibiotics tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refill your medicines, but we're going to give you a shot as well. And we need you to come back on Monday because if we're not doing a lot better Monday uh, after an injection and a different antibiotic, I'm going to need to put you in the hospital for a couple of days, okay? You may need some IV antibiotics. Okay. Um, the problem isn't that this is not getting better. The problem is, is it's taking a really long time to do it. That's my concern, yes. And what can happen is, is this infection can get down in here, can get into these joints, can get into the bones, and then the next thing you know, you have osteomyelitis, which is a bone infection, which, you know, is, then you end up with a PIC line in and you end up on IV antibiotics for, you know, 30 months. So we don't want that. So, um... Need you to come back on Monday, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna draw a line around this because I got a pretty good idea of, of uh, this is where this is out here. So I'll be able to tell on Monday when it comes well, back. Earlier in the week, yeah, it was all the way out here. So yeah, so it's actually retreating right now. And I'm really also worried about all of this swelling that you're having here. Yes, that's. And you got some little spots that are showing up here too, okay? So I don't know if that's infection moving or not, but I suspect it is. And so uh, that's where we're going to give you a, a big shot in the bucus and we're going to change your antibiotic. But I need you to see you back Monday. And like I said, if this doesn't look a lot better to me by then, we may consider going into the hospital or we may consider, you know, another round, another injection and look at you again on Tuesday. So uh, that'll be our plan. Okay. Pinto, you all right, bud? Yeah, I'm just fine. I appreciate you letting us, um, you know, share your story on YouTube with all our friends. And... Um, We'll help you get better. We'll see you on Monday. All right, we're back with Pinto. Man, your foot, I gotta tell you, it looks a lot better. And it's not hurting as much? No, not at all. Any fevers or chills? No. Okay, and uh, you said after you got that shot, uh, it was a lot better, uh, I guess that was on Friday. Yeah. Um, has some of the redness come back a little bit since then? No. No, and it, clearly it looks a lot better. The one thing that I was really concerned about were some of those spots um, on the leg. I was a little bit worried about, uh, and that looks improved. The swelling is clearly improved. Somebody's going to get angry at me for not wearing gloves right now, but I'll wash my hands thoroughly. No, it looks really good, and that's not hurting anymore, is it? No. Um, fantastic. Uh, okay, so so keep taking the antibiotic that we put you on, and I don't think you're going to have to come back in for this. I think this will go ahead and completely resolve now. I think the medication change is what you needed because I, I think it made a big difference. Yeah. yeah. All righty, buddy. Anything else you want to say to anybody? Uh, no, I'm fine. Well, we appreciate you letting us uh, video your, your, your story, and uh, we're glad that oh, you, you, you can tell them. 
Antibiotics yeah. do make you constipated. <laughs> <laughs> some do. Some make some make you constipated. Some have just the opposite effect. Yeah. It just all depends. But yeah. All right. Um, good deal. So just finish those up. If you have any more problems, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. Thanks. So far, I'm really loving this product. It's definitely helped me steer off of energy drinks, caffeine. That was my goal. I'm definitely trying to be a little bit more fit. So I would definitely recommend this product on Amazon. So catch me in the next three months, see how's it going. But so far, I'm loving this product. Order yours today. There's an Amazon link in the description below. Hey there, Dr. Gilmore fans. We have an update about Coco Skin Plus. It's the newest supplement from the marvelous mind of Dr. John Gilmore. The proprietary mix of high potency biotin, extra virgin coconut oil, and vegetable extracts is great for thicker hair, stronger, healthier nails, and softer skin. So if you notice your hair lacks luster, your nails aren't what they used to be, or your skin is dry and chapped, it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. I have personally found that it's way easier to prevent chap lips than it is to treat them. And I used to take a coconut oil supplement for it, so switching over to Coco Plus was an upgrade for me. It was for Kelly too, let's hear from her. I used to take regular biotin for thicker hair, so switching over to Coco Skin Plus was a no-brainer. Nice. We'll put an Amazon link below, so get your 90-day supply today.